Hello. <sighs> hey. Why oh, are you here sitting like a prisoner? <sighs> Is that what your mom calls me now? <laughs> no. She only asks that I come and call you for food downstairs. Please, if that's what you came here for, I'm not interested. Thank you. You can ah, go. Please, Omi, I don't like beef. <laughs> I prefer chicken. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> no, fam. No. Nobody gets your jokes. You're not going to get that. Nope. Nope. Not in the mood for crazy exes today. No. Talking about exes. I don't think Iris gets the idea of the purpose. <sighs> Tell me what's new. <laughs> well, you know, I'm trying to take it easy on her. You know, understanding the fact that we've been together a really long time. So I think it's taking her time to come into acceptance. Right, right. You know, I think you should just be patient with her. You know, be patient until, you know, maybe she's pushing out your fourth child. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Honestly, I, you know, I'm just trying to be gentle. Oh, God. You know, maybe we should admit it. You are not ready to let go of Irit either. Please, that's not what I came for. On to more pressing things. Um, I need to pitch these business ideas to you. Okay. Okay. Wow. <laughs> My baby brother wrote a business plan on paper. It must be raining elephants. Oh. And <gasps> you don't get my own joke. Shut up. Okay. Okay. Wow. <laughs> You actually drew a graph. You gave a projection of numbers. Oh yeah, pitch me your pitch. So, the first one is for you, the second one is for that. Okay. You understand? The economy is changing. Money is now electronic. Be it Bitcoin, be it Facebook, everything is changing and this has come to stay. So we all need to take strategic business decisions now. Who are you? And what have you done with my brother? I'm serious, Joe. Wow. Okay, um, <clears throat> on a serious note, this is nice and all, but what about your event planning business? With all this knowledge, you still want me to be chasing canopy and small chops business <laughs> up and down? No, no. Ah! <laughs> but it's not that you pitch this one to me. What are you going to pitch to your father? <sighs> it has to be something that will make him open his wallet, too. The man claims to have caught me off. Wait, what? Since when? Yesterday. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. You know, it's dad now. Come on. He's probably going to forget after a day or two. I really don't care, man. I'm a grown man. Old man. I'm getting old. I need to start making my own money. He clearly said hunger never wired you before. I don't understand why people don't just believe in my ideas in this house. I'll prove to him and I'm going to pay him back his money. You just watch. And you're sure there's no beef? It's not beef now. I mean, I, all I need is for this investment to work. In about four months, I'll have trained at least a number of people. Look, just hurry up and, and get this done. So, you know, I can invest and, you know, I can be a millionaire like you. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I believe in this particular investment one. In a short time, I'll make money back and I'll be making good money. I'll show him I have a good head on my shoulders. Oh, I know you have a good head on your shoulders. Ah. Side, you know, you're lucky that this is you and dad because you know he's open minded and all, like some people that we know. Ah, look at you, <laughs> throwing shade just like your mother. Honestly, I think you should just be the bigger person and squash this whole beef. <laughs> <laughs> please go and meet her, please leave me alone. See, she will come and eat, don't let her kill me. <laughs> I have a really bad time. Uh-huh. Right. <laughs> yeah, but you cannot generate your own words here. Daddy, why not? As long as it's in the dictionary, I no, think but, we're good. No, but, uh, but there's, there's a particular mm -hmm. scrabble mm -hmm. dictionary for those Of words. course. You can't make up your own words. That's what I'm saying. But then those words are weird. OK, let's form the words there. OK. What is it now? Sorry. <laughs> 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 let's go. Exactly let's like your mother. Go. Excuse me. <laughs> You know, 
I never quite understand people who feel so comfortable living in a little woman's house. You know what they say, two is a company and three is a crowd. Helen. Helen. How is this game? You're terrible at the scrabble here. What are you doing? I was just wondering where my wife became a pillow of salt. <laughs> Look at you. Chris. Look at you. Sitting here pretending as if everything is okay. Instead of you to sit your daughter down and have a proper conversation, you're here forming daddy cool. Abby, well done. Hmm? in the neighborhood, decided to pop in, check up on you, you know, see how you're doing. <laughs> you're talking like you don't live on the next street. How'd you know? <laughs> what if all of a sudden I've become this overnight billionaire living in Banana Island, mm. centerpiece in the middle of the estate, you know, overlooking a nice sea. Is that so? I mean, it would be nice, right? <laughs> I mean, my mom said you're still around, obviously, and how's your man? Is he away on another business trip? This one, that's where I've seen you for more than a day. <laughs> Henry's great. Yeah? Yeah, um, but you know, my dad is retired now, so I'm just trying to spend more time with him. That's right. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. That's, that's good. So, how are you? What's, what's up with you? Well, the last time we really talked before the wedding, you were studying for a certificate exam. Oh, wow. Well, that was ages ago. Um, I, I passed. Of course you did. And then I got promoted to senior architect, so... Yeah. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. I mean, but why are we on my father's couch? We could be somewhere having caviar. You know, yeah. so how about we just zoom to the harbour, get in my yacht, you know, a nice little <laughs> stand <over> to sleep. <laughs> but um, seriously though, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. This is the second time you're asking me, is there something you'd like to know? No, no, I mean, no offense, it's just that, um, ever since you got engaged, we've not been as close as we used to, and yeah. I have been meaning to check in, but you're just never available. Yeah. Um, you know, are you sure you're okay? Kenna, you know, I'm great. You know you can tell me anything. I'm great. <laughs> You realize you can tell me anything, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Hello? You're here. Good, good evening, Auntie. And I see you're gumming Helen the way you used to when you were kids. Only now, you're no longer kids. Mom, can I just stopped by to say hi? Oh, so you said hi. What next? Can we not do this? Oh. Um, I'm, I'll just, just be going. That's exactly what you need to be doing, can I Yes, ma'am. Wait, what is this? Some kind of prison? Am I not allowed to have guests? Well, this is certainly not a vacation, young lady. The last thing this family needs is another scandal. Say me well to your mother, Kenichiko. Yeah, yes, ma'am. He's not going anywhere. In my house, clearly you're losing it. Huh? What will the people say if they see you entertaining strange men? Kenichiko is my friend. Your marriage is over and you're here entertaining men. Is it right? Helen, Imade, Saji, tell me, is it right? Your, your marriage is over. Oh, buddy, show yourself, show yourself to the door. Yes, Stop asking silly questions. Um. Nonsense. What do you want from me? I want me? you to get your act together and go back to your husband's house. That's what, what I want. Me? That's never happening. Oh, no, my journey, cool, cool. Eh? Your marriage will not fail. Amen? I will carry your children in these two hands. Are you with me? Are you listening? Hmm? You know, it's true. I'm never going to find peace in this house. So you know what? I'm going to leave your house for you. Have it. Enjoy it.
Oh. I've been calling you. I mean, what are you... What are you doing here? Are you avoiding me? I'm not. I've been busy. Wow. Too busy to pick my calls or reply my texts. I've been the one putting so much into this relationship and you keep putting roadblocks. Uh, babe, that's the essence of a break. Wow. <laughs> Suddenly we need a break. Is it someone else? No, I mean, all this bickering and fighting is making the relationship toxic. Did you just call me toxic? I didn't say that. I, I said the fighting is becoming toxic. The same fight that you always start. Babe, babe, let's not do this. I mean, this is why I asked for this break. This is why. Uh, why do you even need a break? What for? Are you not tired of all this? I hate you back and forth. It's Dennis, tiring. It's not your fault. <laughs> it's my fault. The same girl that has been with you since SS1 is toxic. It's not your fault at all. I didn't it's say, not. I didn't say that, no. You're calling me toxic. Hey, relax, no. Dennis, you're calling me touch me. You're calling me toxic. I've been there for you all this while. You're calling me toxic. He <laughs> said that I'm toxic and I'm the one spoiling the relation. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I just... See how the girl is crying. But I didn't say, I didn't say, you shut up. Are you calling me a liar? He's calling me a liar. <laughs> Where did you learn this kind of nonsense from? Who raised you? No, because I'm sure he's not in this house, you learned this rubbish from me. <laughs> 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 it's all right, baby. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Auntie. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, excuse me. Need some help? Isn't this that program that uh, Helen loves? Where is she? Is she okay? You know, she's been quiet lately. Have you noticed? Now, since she's taken to locking herself in her room, how am I supposed to notice if, if anything is, has changed or not? Well, me, I'm serious here now. I'm really concerned about her. You know, because I was reading this material on depression. Sometimes they say it leads <laughs> on to psychiatric and maybe psychological. Oh, darling, now. Why are you bothering me? Eh? Felix, why are you bothering me? Okay, fine. I haven't noticed anything different with her. And frankly speaking, I don't think there's anything wrong with her. After all, she, her, her boyfriend came to visit today, so... Please give me. Boyfriend. This I hear your, your mom talking about you having a boyfriend. Who? Kenne? So you had a boy over? No, this is it. I am tired. This I've, I've had enough. What are you doing? I mean, what are you doing? I'm going to leave this house for you and your wife. Go and get an apartment. Or go to a hotel until I can find one. And your wife can enjoy your house. Okay, leave the bag. Hmm? I said leave the bag. <laughs> Family meeting now. Downstairs, come.
Okay. Honestly, I don't know what it is between the both of you. But this is not the way we behave in our family. Hmm? Sophie. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You will not scold me in the presence of my, my own child. No, I'm mean, really, really glad to even realize that you remember that you are her mother. Look, it is your job, it is your responsibility to, 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 to nurture her. Look, huh? no, there is no winner in a family feud. Mm. Yes. Tell me more. Yes, and I will. And just imagine how she feels. Having to come home and then we making it worse for her. Mm-hmm. Hey, you. I've heard the way you speak to your mother. She is not your mate. You may not understand her. But you will not disrespect her. Oh, please help me tell her. Because the way she's carrying on is like we're now age mates in this house. That's it, Dad. Okay, fine. Now, this is simple. In my opinion, and I'm saying this, it's, it's my opinion. I think you both love each other. You care for each other. You only need to find a better way to communicate this. I'm really sorry it has come to this. But I'm really going to have to lock you in because you're refusing to behave like adults until we sort this out. Mom, I'm upset because you never asked me why my marriage was ending. You just shamed me, blamed me, and judged me for it. Oh, so me trying to help you is now me judging you, Abby? You continued with the meeting even after I outrightly asked you not to. So I was supposed to just... And then you embarrassed me in front of my guests. No, well, I think that's a really good start, yeah? Your turn, Sophie. Sophie. Fine. Yeah. I am upset because you are extremely rude to me in my own house and I do not like it. It upsets me that you're carrying on as if everything is okay when your entire life is falling apart. You think I'm happy to be back home? You think I enjoyed the divorce so soon? Do I know for you? Do I? Help me ask her now. On top of the, this is the way you carry on like you know everything when clearly you do not. This is clearly the kettle calling the pot black because you never listen to anyone. Cho, 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 that thing you call about. No wonder you're no longer in your husband's house. Dad, I told you, there is no point talking to her. Reasoning with her is pointless. Oh, have you heard her? Are you listening to your child? I have become her in my own house. Well, talking to you is pointless too. But at least I make the effort. Helen! Helen! 